morning, guys. How are you? I'm back out here at Mandra again. Um, I've just driven half an hour down and it was raining the whole time, but I'm in a bit of a frantic rush because I'm a little late. Sunrise is in about five minutes and there's a gap on the horizon and I can already see pinks and purples being cast on the sky. So I'm going to very quickly jump out, pop my waterproofing gear on. I can already see birds, egrets, pelicans, swans. So hopefully we should be in for a good long shoot this morning. Alright, just gotten ready. I'm gonna have to be quick. I can see a great eagle over there. As you can see behind me, we're already getting some beautiful sunrise colour, so I'm gonna quickly shut this off, get into position, and hopefully at least make a nice photo of this great eagle in this beautiful pink light. I'm laying in the mud and the duck shit and the grass. Um, I got a few shots of that egret. He kept kind of moving up along the beach. He would fly to different locations and stuff, but I think I got a few just, you know, standard kind of portrait looking shots of him just kind of standing there. Beautiful light though. It was kind of underexposing to get that sort of semi silhouette effect. Um, yeah, beautiful colours, but no real hunting behaviour or anything that special, so... Yeah, we'll keep going, there's plenty of birds around, so... I might just wait here and just sort of see what happens. The issue for the day is it's high tide. So all the birds are kind of out further and there's barely any beach for me to lay down in. So whenever I do find something to shoot, there's no beach. Oh, there's a spoonbill. Just spotted a spoonbill in this little pond just behind me over here. This could be good. This could be really good. Let's see what we can get. Oh, hey there. I think that's about it for spot number one. The wind's coming in now, the clouds are rolling in. There's not really too much out here, really. Uh, a few ducks and things, but nothing too special now. But I've got a few other places that I can check out up the coast, so I'm going to keep cruising up, uh, see what I see, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can still continue making images this morning. Holy shit, you're never going to believe it. Literally, just as I was putting my waders and stuff back in the car, like four, I think four spoonbills landed literally right in front of the car park. So, I, I'm not even wearing any of my waterproof stuff anymore. I literally just gunned it down to the front here, laid down, and one that really came within like three meters of me. I got some awesome portrait shots, like super close up, heaps of detail. I cannot wait to see them.
These are easily the best screen build shots I've ever had. Easily. Just when I thought I was uh, giving up on the spot, nature just goes, nah, mate. Five more minutes. Easy, mate. I got you. And then four spoonbills. Just land right here. Out of nowhere. Crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep moving up. Maybe follow them for a bit. Take some photos. Um, you can probably see <laughs> the sky's looking pretty ominous. I mean, look at that cloud. Very spooky. Very spooky indeed. So I've got a feeling it's in a matter of time before it absolutely chucks it down. So I'm going to make the most of it. Let's see what happens. You're not going to believe it. Look. <laughs> More spoonbills. It's going to be a spoonbill kind of day by the looks of it. I better chuck my wet weather gear on because it looks like it's about to absolutely pour down. So I need to be very quick, get out there, and let's see if I can make even more spoonbill shots. Who would have thought? Four spoonbills and one grey egret flew in as well just been laying here very still and they're just feeding in front of me over here doing some great kind of environmental portraits with the kind of headland behind them quite nice because the clouds have rolled in the light is really soft which is great for white birds because it's so easy to blow the highlights out when the sun's out and what they're doing is they're just kind of strolling up and down the coastline here picking out little shells and invertebrates in the water and trying to get a shot of the spoonbill kind of throwing food back into the mouth which they do from time to time so I haven't got that yet but I'm going to keep trying but it's tough when there's four of them so it's hard to know which one's going to do it hopefully it's just a matter of time but one's coming over close now so I'm going to pop you away get the camera out see if we can make it happen That again, let's place you there. Okay, okay. Damn, this is super good. They're just kind of patrolling up and down the waterline here, feeding and carrying on. Just taking bursts of shots as they go, little portraits. And a couple with some of the landscape behind as well, which I love doing. Shooting a relatively high shutter speed, one one thousandth of a second. That's just to make sure that I capture any action, like if they throw the food in their mouth or any water droplets that they flick around. Uh, aperture is f8, ISO 2500, which is pretty, pretty good. Obviously I'd love it lower if there's a bit more light, but that's fine. I'd rather have the high shutter speed. I can deal with any uh, noise issues in Lightroom pretty easily. So, yeah, this is great. This is really good, man. Like, I honestly thought that 
this morning was going to be a bit of a blowout after that first spot. Yeah. Sometimes nature can throw a bit of a curveball at you. Just as I was leaving, the spoonbill showed up, had a great little shoot with them, come here, and there's even more spoonbills. Like that, that, that doesn't really happen that often. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to just persevere and wait around and sometimes things just happen. And thankfully today is one of those mornings. Alrighty guys, that's me done for the day. The spoonbills took off and the rains have kind of come in, so I decided to uh, huck it back to the car and frankly I'm in need of uh, some breakfast and another coffee, so I'm going to take off. But um, yeah, really great morning, man. Great shots of the spoonbills, a couple of those egrets, so I'm happy. I'm happy. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're uh, keen on seeing more. I know that would help me a lot, so I'd appreciate that. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and um, yeah, stay tuned for next time.